everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you all so much for your support i'm finally back in nakuru it, it has been like some time since i left nakuru maybe is it a week i think a week or some days i've lost count yeah so i'm back in nakuru and i want to share with you the first meal i cook where while in nakuru yeah so let's cook it's just beef to bukiza with kuma with spinach and ugali bet you love it because it's very delicious it's a very delicious combination yeah so let's cook like i said this meal is very simple i won't be using any oil and other spices um just i've just washed this beef and so i've added some onions tomatoes and salt to taste that's all then i'm going to add water so after adding this just want to mix it you can skip that too but i just prefer to mix yeah so that it just gets everywhere and i added these bell peppers that i left in the house they're frozen i'd frozen them yes you can add your bell peppers and even if you have your coriander you can add later yeah so after adding that you also mix then what you do next is just to add water add water add enough water that will boil the meat until it's cooked tender like very soft it's soft to your desired taste the way you just want it and if the salt won't be enough just add more salt so that it tastes so good like but if you don't like too much salt like that taste of salt just put a little salt so that when it's to combine yeah so after that you just cover and let it boil so i've reduced the heat i don't want it to to boil fast yeah so you just reduce the heat then you boil it to medium this is it it has boiled and you can see the water has reduced yeah so this is the time i'm adding the spinach because at this time the meat is tender it is soft enough to my taste yeah so even a child can eat it actually so you after you added your spinach you just cover it and let it cook for like five minutes or three minutes then just like stir it the spinach doesn't take a lot of time to cook so this this method is very simple you just like you can do this while doing other stuff in the house like for me i was cooking as i cleaned the house you know it's been a while so the house was dusty so as the meat boils i'm just busy cleaning around yeah so that's it you just cover it and now the spinach has cooked i've switched off the heat and i let it stay there as i cook the ugali ugali also is also a simple process i let the water boil and after it has boiled i've added the i've added some the maize flour so after adding the maize flour you just stir, stir it and mix well so that you have a soft and smooth ugali yeah that's it and ensure that you don't add you you don't add like water like you don't add too much flour at once you like add little bit by bit so that it doesn't become hard if you want a soft ugali you don't add a lot of flour at once you add bit by bit so that you know when how how soft or hard your ugali is yeah so at this moment i'm just cooking it you stir it like you turn you turn it in that direction occasionally so that you get every side cook and if you see the bottom of your sphere like that you know it's cooked already yeah so that's it and now i'm just going to give it a shape i've added some water on that cooking stick just to give it some shape <laughs> yeah like i want i want around ugali yes yeah so now the shape is here but to give it a rounder shape I've just transferred it into a uh, on this plate and then just shape it to more to your desired shape 
yeah so it's as simple as that the ugali doesn't take much time and also you've seen the beef tubukiza with spinach doesn't also take a lot initially i thought of like cooking the beef and then the spinach separate but then uh, i thought it would be a uh, it will take much of my time so i decided just to add the spinach inside the meat but you can also just cook them separate yeah so here is the final product guys look at that like it's so simple and tastes so good i really loved it yeah so <laughs> can also try it later so thanks so much for watching and let's meet in another video bye